I hate to make this video, but um, I just want to be honest with you guys. It is February 16th, 2019. And today I'm going to talk about Travis Frederick. And you guys, I know the overwhelming majority of you are going to say, are going to say, what the fuck are you? They are going to ask me, what the fuck are you thinking? What the fuck are you saying? Like, are you out of your mind? Are you retarded? Are you dumb? Are you this? Are you that? I know it's going to happen. But I just want to say this. I think Travis Frederick should retire. I think he should retire. I think he should leave the game of football. I think it's, it's done. I think it's over with. You know, a lot of reports are coming out saying that he's uh, at 90, 95%. Like he's, some reports are even speculating that he'll be better than ever. You guys, Guillain-Barre syndrome is extremely serious. I know they caught it early in him. But once you have it, that's pretty much... I don't think you can perform at an NFL level with Guillain Barre. I don't care how soon you catch it. I don't care what rehab you go through. It's extremely rare. It's, it's extremely debilitating. It's chronic, meaning long-lasting, lifelong. I just don't see it. I don't think he'll ever be what he was. Uh, you know, when these... Articles coming out speculating, saying that he'll be better than ever. I just don't see it. I think it's time for us to move forward. I think he needs to retire. You guys, this is not like, you know, an ACL tear, you know, a broken leg or torn labrum or, you know, like, it's nothing like that. This is an autoimmune disorder. And it's attacking his nervous system. Reports came out, he was feeling weakness and numbness in his, like, his legs and his fingers. He was feeling tingling in his extremities. And now, of course, you know Travis Frederick. He want, You know, the, the, the man that he is, you know, the competitor that he is. He, he wants to get back out there. I just don't see it. <clears throat> I just don't see how you can come back from such a devastating disease. Like, And he will always have that. That will always be at the back of his mind. That will always be, but it, not even in the back of his mind, that'll just always be with him physically. I just don't see how he can be better than he once was before the disease. And the thing is, you guys, the, de the disease doesn't stop progressing. It's not like he just stopped it in his tracks like, oof. Sorry, I cured the disease. No, that's not how it goes with Guillain Barre. Once you have it, it's lifelong. You can't get rid of it. I, I just don't see how he can perform at an NFL level with such a devastating disease, autoimmune disease at that. Just don't see it. Um, to be quite honest, I think we should move on from him. I, it, the a moral thing to do is to cut him. I mean, you want to see what he can do. But to be quite honest, I don't think he's ever going to be the same. Um, I think he should leave the game while he's still, you know, standing. I, I just, I don't see it, you guys. I think we should start looking for um, either re-sign Joe Looney or look for another center in the draft. It's time to move on. Uh, you know, the NFL stands for not for long it's a cutthroat business and you got to make decisions you got to make tough decisions and you guys i just don't see it with travis frederick anymore i'm sorry guillain Barre is extremely serious you know it you can't just cure it you can't get rid of it i mean it's it's there it'll be with him for life and i just don't believe that he will be able to perform at an nfl level consistently with this disease and at any moment's notice, it can flare up again. And the thing is, this disease flares up. Like, the onset of the disease, when people have an onset of it, it usually they go through huge, they, they go through physical trauma that, that, that sets it off, or they go through, you know, they get a disease like the flu or something, or they get an infection that sets it off. And this man is, is playing in a collision sport. 
He is playing in a collision sport. He's playing in the trenches. He is the leader of the offensive line. He's going to face so much trauma, so much blunt force trauma. And any one of those hits can, you know, can progress the disease even further. It could just set it off even further. You know, like, it just... It just doesn't seem logical for him to come back. I, I would I would retire if I were him. And to be quite honest, if I were part of the coaching staff, if I were Jerry Jones, if I were <clears throat> anybody in that organization, I would tell him, listen, man, we just don't feel safe out there with you playing. Um, this is much bigger than football. This is much bigger than everything. This is your health. This is your life. And I don't, I think he should just quit. I think he should retire, just give it up because at any given notice, at any given time, he could have another flare up because you can't get rid of it. He, he can have another flare up just like that and boom, it'll be even worse than before. You guys, um, I'm sorry for this, my grim take on this issue, on the Travis Frederick issue. I think he should retire. I think we should start looking forward uh, to replacing him and... I hate to say it, but I think he's done. And um, I, I'm not buying the reports saying that he's close to full health. I'm not buying any of the reports saying that, you know, that he's going to be better than ever. I'm simply not buying it. I I think he's done. And that's my honest opinion, you guys. I try to be honest with you as much as I can. That's my take on it. And if you agree, you agree. Y'all have a y'all have a discussion in the comment section. I'd like to hear your, your guys' thoughts. You want to call me an idiot, call me an idiot. You want to call me a dumbass, call me that. If you agree with me, which I know a lot of you won't, if you agree, put it down in the comment section. I just want to hear you guys' thoughts on Travis Frederick. I love him. He's the leader of this defense. He He's he's everything to this team, And I just, but I just don't see him coming back, you guys. That's my take on it. Peace.